What's up guys? So I've been preaching to get Potion Master on your Alchemist. Because I thought that was the one that had the highest potential. But I've never actually checked this and now that the expansion is out we can use TSM data to figure out what actually is the best mastery. What is the best specialization? Of course there's not just going to be one answer. Uh, but that's what we'll explore today. And spoiler alert, I'm probably going to change my mastery. Because I was wrong, or rather... I wasn't wrong, but I was wrong, as we'll see. So obviously the basics, the specializations, they give you 20% extra yield on average for items in that category. So Potion Mastery is going to give me 20% extra Potion of Speed, 20% uh, extra Indestructible Potion. You can proc 1, you can proc 5. On average, over crafting hundreds and thousands of these, it's going to come out to 20% extra. Elixir Master, going to do the same thing for Elixirs and Flasks. And transmutes, we're gonna do the same for transmutations, obviously. Um, and then you'll get you'll get the uh, the bonus on the transmute recipes, essentially. So how do we figure this out? Well, I've built a spreadsheet, and we're gonna take a look. First, we're gonna pick the items or the recipes that we're gonna focus on, because we're not gonna focus on every recipe. There's so many recipes. We're only gonna care about the ones that are best installed that people use. So, um, so that's pretty much it. Um, we're not going to include the other ones. So, um, so for potions, or rather for transmutations, which is what we'll start with, we included the daily cooldown. You can choose from a lot of different Eternals that can be turned into other Eternals. Um, that's on the daily cooldown, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, we have the the full list is is back on the the spreadsheet here. Um, it's a bunch of different ones. Um, you don't you unlock them by getting them as discoveries, so you might not have all of them. And then, in addition to that, we're going to include the transmutes for the two um, the two meta gems. I, I don't think I've actually trained them on my alchemist. Oh, I have them here. I have one Earth Siege and Sky Flare. We're going to include these two as well. Uh, they can be they don't have a cooldown. You can craft as many of those as you as you want. Um, so that's fine. For potion mastery, we're going to have there's three potions essentially that people buy. Um, and I have two of them favorited up here because they're good. Indestructible Potion, Potion of Speed, the last one I don't have yet because it's from research. The Potion of Wild Magic. These are the three ones. Potion of Speed, Generic DPS Potion, Potion of Wild Magic, Caster um, DPS Healer Potion, Indestructible Potion, Tanks, and also some DPS specs. I'm a Frosty guy, so I actually use Indestructible Potions because I have a talent that gives me AP based on my armor, so popping that at, at pull is actually good. So those are the three potions that we'll consider, and for for elixir mastery, we're just going to consider the three, the four flasks, uh, and that's it. Elixirs, who's going to buy elixirs? They're just worse than flasks. They, if you die, you lose them. They're pointless. No one's going to ever buy this. They're gonna, they're way too expensive to craft, and the benefit is just way too small. They are irrelevant. So those are the recipes that we're gonna that we're gonna use. Um, and then we're going to do the calculations. And I have them all in the, the spreadsheet right here. This is just the recipe site. We don't care about that. Um, so what we're going to do is I've taken the sale rate here. Um, you should make a copy of this spreadsheet, by the way, because the pricing might not be correct for your realm. But the sale rate, I expect this is going to be um, the same, roughly. This is the same for every realm, and I don't think this is going to change much. So you don't need to fill out this. Uh, again, I just leave this as is. Then we're calculating the profit for every recipe here, either with or without uh, the mastery. Extra bonus for mastery. Um, and then we can figure out like, okay, what's the total profitable profit available per day by taking the sale rate and multiplying that by the profit. Uh, as this is the region average daily sold in the uh, TSM tooltip, this is not what you are actually going to sell. For most of you, you can expect to sell fewer than this per day. Although on big realms, obviously there's, there's more than 620 potions of speed that sell per day. Um, and we're not including here any time spent reposting, which maybe I should, but I have to make too many assumptions. So we're going to ignore that. Um, I've taken the time per craft here. This is a source from Wowhead. And then for some of these items that require pygmy oil, I've also included the time spent uh, to craft the pygmy oils. So we can see that the potion of speed is going to take four and a half seconds to craft. Because you need pygmy oil as well as, um, as the potion. Um, so that's essentially the calculation, right? Um, and then we have the total time required. This is in seconds, so if you want to craft all 627 potions of speed that you can potentially sell per day, that's going to take you 2,800 seconds. That's reasonably long. <laughs> that's like 40 minutes of crafting. 
Uh, so, and then we've summarized it all at the top here. Um, and this is this is pretty much like the, the important part. I haven't printed this up yet because I'm just re recording it and getting it out there. Um, so we have a bunch of stuff here that you can use to make the final decision. What is the best? Um, because there's not just one answer. That's the important part here. The first thing, the first column, total profit specialization only. This is the profit of only the items in that specialization category. So this is the total profit available if you craft all of these this quantity of, of potions and sell them. Um, and the same for transmutes. Uh, I didn't mention exactly how I did the daily transmute. For daily transmutes, we're just assuming that you can sell sell it every day. It takes no time, and it's eternals. They sell super fast. You can easily sell uh, fifteen eternals every day or one eternal. It's uh, completely um, completely obvious that you can sell that out every day. So you don't need the quantity. It's just limited by how often you can craft it. Uh, transmute and then elixir so obviously these prices are based on my realm and this is something you have to fill in and then you'll get some different numbers in the profit columns so for me uh potions mastery is the most prof profitable one so it's the best as i as i thought uh, and then elixir master and then transmute master then we also uh included the total profit if we craft everything that's profitable from the uh, profession including the stuff that you don't have mastery for, but that's still profitable. That's the next column. As we can see here, Elixir and Potion Mastery are actually very close in that category. Um, mostly because some of the potions and um, and some of the, the biggest selling flasks are profitable regardless of mastery status. So it doesn't change much. The, the only real difference is like the Flask of Frostworm. Um, which is only really profitable with Elixir Mastery. Um, and then we have how much time does this take you in minutes? If you just wanted to craft this amount for your specialization only, it's going to take you more than an hour to get this profit with Potion Mastery. Just crafting time does not include actually having to sell 627 potions of speed, which is also going to take a long time. Transmutation Mastery, 8 minutes. You're just crafting uh, about 100 metagems total. Um, Elixir, and then one daily uh, transmute. Elixir Mastery, about half an hour. So this is the big one, right? And that's going to lead to some pretty jarring differences in the gold per hour, particularly if you do just the specialization stuff. So if you just do the transmute stuff and maybe you only craft half of this amount, then you'll be making like five, seven, six thousand gold per hour in that time, in the crafting time. And then you'll obviously have to sell the meta gems, but if you have a jewel crafter, maybe you can cut them and sell them faster that way. Or you can just sell them in bulk, like I buy... I've bought like stacks of 20, stacks of more stacks of 20 uh, Skyflare diamonds in one go. People are buying loads of them, so that's not a problem to sell at all. Um, and then obviously Alex Ma Sir Mastery, if you just do the Alex Sirs, is also higher gold per hour. If you do absolutely everything, like if you have infinite time and you spend 90 minutes uh, crafting everything, then Potion Mastery becomes the best gold per hour again, because now you're doing absolutely everything. Um, but this is extremely juicy from an efficiency point of view, right? Um, and that's that's the interesting thing here. Um, so that's what I've I've probably decided based on this that I'm going to change to transmute mastery. Why? I don't have time to craft potion of speed at the moment. I have two accounts, but my alchemy is on alchemist is on my main account, and it takes a huge amount of time to craft that stuff. Um, and on my main account, I have most of my other crafters as well, which means that I can't craft PvP gear, I can't craft PvE gear, I can't do prospecting, I can't do anything else at the same time. Um, so I think I'd rather just have something that I can do like really quickly, just a couple of minutes and be done. Uh, or maybe do like one 15 minute uh, crafting session and then I'll be done for like 3-4 days. Which just isn't possible with Potion or Elixir Master. There's also the fact that Potion or Elixir Master require a lot more time to sell your items. They need to be reposted a lot. Maybe even use trade chat because it takes a lot of uh, time. Um, so that's what I've been finding. Actually, mostly because of this number. And I expect that, I mean, this is going to be consistent across realms because it's just based on the sale rate, which is the same for every realm because we're just using the average, uh, TSM average daily sale sold. Um, of course, profit is going to vary. Maybe if you have very high profit margins and potion of speed, it's still going to be a lot better. Or if you have more time or you just enjoy crafting tons of potions, then that's definitely completely fair as well. Uh, but for me, I think Transmit Mastery, I'm going to probably swap. Um, I'm surprised. Obviously, as you can see from this, like I'm not showing you one number and saying this is the best uh, specialization because that answer doesn't exist. 
because these two things need to be seen in <laughs> you need to look at both the profit available and the time required to generate that profit um, to figure out what the, the best approach for you is. If you have a, an hour a day to do alchemy stuff and you want to do that, then Potion Mastery is incredible. Um, it has very high profit potential. If you don't, then Transmute Mastery is looking a lot better than I thought. It's a lot closer. Mostly due to the fact that these uh, these diamonds don't have a cooldown. And I can cut these to generate even more profit um, and just be more efficient in my overall supply chain. So, yeah. Um, I was surprised. Transfeed Mastery is really good. Elixir is also very good. A um, lot less time consuming. I mean, effectively, you can pretty much just focus on these two flasks, right? Just ignore the tank one. Who cares? Profit margin is very thin, though. Very thin on my realm right now. So I'm, I'm not liking this based on this, but um, your realm might be different or you just might be able to more consistently find cheap herbs. Um, but yeah, um, now you can do it as well. The spreadsheet is linked in the description. Go ahead, slam in all of your prices on your realm. Um, and then you can compare the numbers yourself and see what sort of profit you can get from that specialization. You can also look at on a per recipe basis at the bottom here. There's some hidden calculations that don't really matter, but if you if you want to audit me, you can go do that and make sure everything is, is correct. But you can at least see the gold power of every recipe as well based on the sale rate. Um, so you can see what you want to focus on. For instance, we can see that well, the Earth Siege Diamond is a lot more profitable than Skyflare Diamond and... I mean, we can just see it, look at the profit margin here, and, or the profit number here, and that's blatantly obvious why that's the case. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will help you out. Maybe some of you, like me, are going to be <laughs> swapping, and maybe that's going to change the profit margin around. Um, keep in mind that if, if tons of people swap away from Potion Mastery, suddenly it's going to get better again. So um, yeah, just pay attention. Now you have the tools to always make sure you have the right specialization. Good luck. Have fun. Make some gold with Alchemy Boys and girls.